This video is sponsored by Avail. Are you a HGV driver looking for a job? If so, then create and log into the Avail app and start looking for work. Want to know more? Then download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Do appreciate it, or oh, press the wrong light. There we go. Hopefully you are well. We have just turned up to work, probably while I look tired. We just, uh, just jumped in the truck. We've got to do some daily checks. Um, so let's crack on. First thing I want to do is turn the ignition on and just check me uh, engine oil mm. level. So uh, yeah, minimum, maximum, we're above, the, we're above the line, so that's good. Right, let's um, put our foot on the brake, press the start button and turn her on. Get her warmed up, turn some lights on, hazards on, radio on. We need to put ourselves to other work because it automatically puts us on rest when we turn the ignition off. So we're on other work now. Uh, what else do we want to do? What else do we want to do? We just want to build the revs up, really, so um, it doesn't cut off while we do our checks. Headlights on. Right, let's jump outside. Okay, now we're outside. We can do some daily checks. Uh, as I said, headlights are on, but they're not. Um, the fuse has gone on it, so we need to get a new fuse fitted at some point. But uh, yeah, everything else looking good on the front, apart from one of my burners. As you can see, that one's working. That one isn't. So we need to get that one changed at some point. Right, we're going to turn my, uh, my headband torch on so we can do some checks. There we go. Torch on. So we're just going around, make sure everything's all right. We still need to wash the truck. We'll um, either do that later on today when we get back from our uh, daily duties. Or if we get a chance to do it on the road, then we'll do it on the road. Um, today, we're taking this to Stonehouse. We've got a full load of pallets on, as you can see. From there, what is tipped, we're going to South Cerny, we're going to get a full load of um, roofing slate, and then that's going to be going to Northwest London. So we are sort of heading to London today. And then from there, I don't know what we're doing. We could be going, number plate is on, lights are on. We could potentially go to Tilbury Ducks on there. So if that is the case, then we can get the truck washed in Tilbury Ducks. That'd be good. Everything's good on this side as well. Yeah. All looking good. Make sure the part brakes on. Sorry, off. That's on. That's off. Nothing worse than doing all your checks, getting in your truck, and then realizing you left the trailer brake on. <laughs> then you've got to get all the way back out again. Anyway, let's jump back in the truck. Right, everything's looking good. Headband off. Well, oh, let's go over there for now. That can go over there for now. Yes, everything is good. So we're going to crack on now and uh, get to our first delivery point in Stonehouse. Um, so yeah, let's crack on. I'll see you in a little while, soon a bit. Right, you joined me just around the corner from the first delivery in Stonehouse. As you can see, we do have dash cam footage today. Um, so we are, oh hang on, the lights are just going to change. Look, bloody hell. Lights have just changed. We are taking up two lanes because we need two lanes on this roundabout. Just making sure no vehicles are trying to pass either side, like this idiot here. Cheers, mate. Indicate right, it might stop other people doing the same. I'm not taking up two lanes to be a knob. I'm taking up two lanes because if I don't, I'm going to take your car out going around the roundabout. Simple as that. I'm now in the left lane going around this roundabout and the trailer wheels will be very close to the roundabout look. Look at that. I don't take up two lanes for no reason. Give large vehicles extra room to manoeuvre. It's in the highway code. What is that beeping? <laughs> I've got no idea what that beeping is. Uh, anyway, hope you're well. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do appreciate it. Like I said earlier, we are delivering to Stonehouse first thing this morning. Then we've got to nip over to South Sydney and get loaded. Um, with uh, like roofing stuff for, uh, I think it's going to Chandler's Roofing Supplies in Northwest London. I can't remember what the place is called. I will obviously let you know when we know exactly what it's called. And then I don't know what we're doing from there. I'm going to let this uh, lorry through. Yeah, I don't know what we're doing from there. I'd like to go to Tilbury Docks to get the truck washed. I really would. 
We have a truck wash in the yard, don't get me wrong, and I probably will wash it when I get back to the yard anyway, but I wouldn't mind it getting a, like a, a first clean, so to speak, and then I can clean it again back in the yard then if, it's, if it gets dirty again. Right. Right, hazards are on. We've got a truck in the truck wash down there, so we don't want to block him off completely. You all right, mate? <laughs> ah! How you doing? All right, yeah. You're yeah, not bad, yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, you're up here for long. I'm literally just parked up ready for breaks. Oh, have you? Yeah, I've got to reverse back and then deliver in these. Yeah, I'll catch you in a sec. All right, mate. That's, um, that's Daz. I'll put a link in his description down below. He's actually... Um, do me a solid. I'm trying to lose weight, and he's um, he's like a personal trainer, qualified, so he's like trying to help me out, which is good. There we go. That'll do. That'll do nicely. Right, we're here. We're here. We've got to take off all our straps now. Say hello to our friend, and um, yeah, go from there. That's a nice surprise. Was not expecting to see Daz here. That's nice. Go give him a subscribe on his channel, 100%. Right, see you in a bit. Right, big thanks to Daz for helping out. He's just gone to get his camera, do a piece, do a piece with him. Um, he's helped me undo the straps and stuff, so happy days. Just waiting for him to come back now. Are we filming each other now? <laughs> we are. Are you putting hungry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got to do something on my side as well. We've got an app now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Wait, Check out. You, what did you film? We uh, we both make videos and put them on online. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a quick signature in there? Just <coughs> Mickey Mouse. Yeah, whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Thank you very much. Um, it, yeah. oh, look, I've got to sign it as well. Look. Done, there we All right. go. All right, thank you very much. Good Have a good day, mate. Right, I'm gonna uh, crack on then, mate. All right, mate, yeah. There we go, so yeah, we're tipped. There's Daz there, like um, like I said, Daz is trying to help me to lose some weight. <laughs> See you later, mate, have a good day. <laughs> See you later, mate. Bye-bye. So yeah, he's gonna have to try and lose weight, which is awesome. Um, yeah, looking forward to it. I've, I've said, I've said many times I want to lose weight. I kind of, I always lose, I always lose motivation, and, and that's that's what I've said to Daz. Like that's the main thing I need is motivation. Um, motivation to get my ass into gear, basically. That's that's what I need. That's what I need. Anyway, we're gonna crack on to South Cerny, and um, yeah. See you in a little while. See you in a bit. Okay, we are in the branch, ready to be loaded. I think we're about to get called. We're just working out a route to get to um, our delivery point in London, northwest. I think this is the way we're going to go. I feel like I'm going to sneeze in a sec. <coughs> uh, yeah, bless me. Bless me. I think someone's coming down now to call me. Okay, engine off. Steering wheel up. We're in position. Let's jump on the bunk. And then we just uh, just sit over here while they uh, while they load us up. Okay, we are loaded. We are strapped up. Just check in between eight and two. No problem. There's the load. Don't know if you can see. We're, we're strapped up. We're corner boarded up. And uh, yeah, we are going to crack on. It's Friday. There's no rest for the wicked. Put the paperwork up there. Right, time to fill up with some fuel. The Essential New Truckers Handbook is a book aimed at new drivers who want to become part of the industry. This book will guide you through what to expect in the industry via its 28 chapters and will help you understand important rules and regulations such as driver's hours, loading and unloading, manoeuvring and much more. This book also contains DVSA revision theory test questions and is a great read should you wish to gain some extra knowledge. The Essential New Truckers Handbook, updated and enlarged, available now 
Link is in the description down below. Just literally just down this road now, that's all we've got to do. Uh, okay, yeah, okay. I thought that was a dead end then. <laughs> I thought that was a dead end road. We turn right. We turn right. So right then I left. I thought originally we'd come in from that way, but um, maybe that avoids the weight limit on the bridge. But this is where it's going to get interesting now because we've got vehicles parked down either side of the road and we need to get down there. Look. sort of cars you want to be hitting. Wow, they look like expensive cars. Okay, I'm not looking forward to trying to get out of here. Why are all these cars looking so expensive? <laughs> Jesus. You join me just trying to turn round. It's uh, it's very, very tight round here. But if I could turn round, it's uh, the hard work done then, isn't it? Take a, a wider turn there. Right, I can see a bit better now. I won't catch it in time. Got to be careful of those posts on the left as well. Right, we're good. It was those posts. What are you beeping at? It's those posts on the on the side lot, so I had to get it spot on. Otherwise, would have uh, taken out the bumper. But now we've spun round, we're good. Woo! I see. I've already unstrapped because they told me to, and then uh, got asked to spin round.
He's still telling me to go back. I am being watched, which is nice. But told to stop, so we stopped. Ah, that's a bit fun. I was going to swear there. <laughs> that was a bit tighter than uh, ideally wanted. The thing is, you got, they look like very nice Range Rovers and a Porsche. <laughs> Sod the van in front. The Range Rovers and the Porsches, I did not want to hit. But at least now we're facing the correct way to go out. And um, yeah, <laughs> lovely. Right, I need to find out what I'm doing next. Right, we are tipped. Seatbelt on. Can't find the L. Take that as you will. Um, right, hazards off, beacons off. Say bye. Yeah, look, posh Ranger over here. The Porsche is gone now. There was a Porsche on the side, which means I can get a bit of a better angle to get through all this. Range Rover, Porsche Cayman, never Porsche. There's an Audi, which is sticking out on the road quite a bit. Great parking park there by Mr. Audi. Standard. Mate, this is so snug. Is that a Rolls Royce? Clear there. That is a Rolls Royce. <laughs> clear left, clear right. Okay, we're good. Oh, oh, that beeping is saying I'm that close to something. We're good, we're good, we're good. Bloody hell, mate. That is, none of them cars you want to hit. <laughs> you don't want to hit any car, don't get me wrong. Look, Range Rover, Range Rover, they're all posh cars down here. I think there's that garage there is um, sorting them out or something, I don't know. Because they are some posh cars. Not the sort of place you would um, probably find my car. <laughs> right, we're on turn right here. We're going to go back out the way we came in. Clear, clear. Mid lift axle up while I remember. Oh, there's a lorry coming, but there ain't really anywhere for me to go. And now there's a van coming as well. Lovely, van driver's going to move over. Brilliant, thank you mate, appreciate that. Uh, Scrubs Lane is where we're at. If anyone wants to know roughly where in London we are, Northwest Scrubs Lane, next to a train station, I think. <coughs> so we do know what we're doing from here. It's straight back to the sawmill, the old yard we used to be based at. Uh, get loaded for Monday morning with timber going to Wrexham. What's going to say? That bridge is 4.7, but I thought that said 4.1 then. So, um, yeah, straight back to uh, B White Sawmill and uh, go get loaded for timber for Wrexham. Um, I hope that car. Is that car parking there? No, it's roundabout. Okay, makes sense. I thought that car was parking there. We can go. We can go. May have been slow coming off the roundabout, but we were on the roundabout before that vehicle coming from the right. And although the highway code does say give way to the right, the highway code also says give way to vehicles already on the roundabout. And if no one's going to stop, I'm going to go. Yeah, no one's stopping. I haven't got all day. Place of the beat. It's a Friday. I stopped. I flashed, no one else. Well, I just stopped coming the other way. But yeah, I think, I think people forget that. The highway code does say give way to your right. But if you're not actually there at the time when I set off, 
highway code then says give way to vehicles already on the roundabout and I'm already on the roundabout and a long large vehicle so then you have to give way to me nice one mate you overtake me at 50 bar now and then slow down at the speed camera <laughs> nice one maybe that 50 bar now is a slight exaggeration probably more like 35 Uh, this bus lane is open, I believe. It says 7 to 10 and 4 till 7. So between 7 a.m. and 4 p.m., the lane is open. So we are in the bus lane, or hovering over it anyway. Is it going to be green for us now? Come on, turn green. No. It's green for pedestrians, of which there are none. You can hear the beeping for crossing. There are no pedestrians, apart from one over there now, now crossing. I think our lights are turning green next. Cyclist went through a red light. There's a surprise. Let's go. Go straight over here. Lovely. And then we want to take a left. Um, we came from that way, I believe, last time. Yeah. These barriers look a bit snug as well, look. I love it when they step back. Love it when they step back. <laughs> uh, when you're turning and they step back, that does make me laugh a little bit. Um, I, I probably would as well, but I'm in... Uh, you're in safe hands with me driving, I like to think. So I know I didn't want to be in the left lane, but the right roundabout also... I wanted to turn right at the roundabout, so I didn't want to be in the left lane, but I wasn't sure whether the left lane you needed to be in to get to the roundabout, if that makes sense. But never mind. It looks like they've shut this, this slick road off there. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah, again, this is the road we take to get into um, Hyde Park. I don't want to go that way, though. Well, I don't understand why it's taking me to Hyde Park. Yeah, um, that takes us back to Hyde Park, and then you can get back to the M4 that way via... Uh, what's it called? Hammersmith. I don't want to go that way. So we've turned all the way around. We're going to join back on to the A40. And, um, and go this way. Oh, we need to go in the right side lane, but it's all clear. This is, um, but the sat nav's telling you to go one way and then you're like, no, I want to go this way. You really are relying on your navigational skills, if, if you have any. <laughs> we're, um, it's, it's truckers, like my generation, I don't know, I'm starting to feel old to be honest, but my generation have a reputation of being sat-nav users, follow the sat-nav, don't use your brain sort of thing. Um, I like to think I do try to use a bit of, you know, geographical knowledge and be like, no, actually, I don't care what the sat-nav's saying, I want to go this way. I like to think I'm one of them guys. <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, sat is brilliant. I wouldn't be without it, that's for sure. I would not go to work without a sat-nav, um, unless I knew exactly where I was going. But yeah, sometimes you've got to override it and be like, no, I'm not going that way. 
And that's what I'm doing now. That's what I'm doing now. So yeah, we're going to carry on. That's right, mate. You jump in front. Plenty of time for me to slow down. Are you turning left? Yeah, yeah. Literally rushed to overtake me. Just to then turn left there, look. Luckily, I'm not speeding, nor am I in a particular rush. Um, we should be back in the yard, not the yard, it'll be right, about four o'clock. So um, we're going to crack on to be right now. It used to be the yard. Uh, get there for four o'clock, hopefully get loaded, and then back in our yard for five. And then um, need to clean the truck. I've been wanting to clean the truck for ages now, all this week, and I haven't had an opportunity, so... Hopefully I can do it in the yard. Anyway, I'll, uh, I'll see you in v right. See you in a bit. Okay. Just turned up and half the staff are gone. <laughs> I, think, um, I think they're staying on just to load me. It's only four o'clock. Let's go and get loaded. Okay, we are being loaded. I've thrown over a few shops already on those ones. Go get a couple more now, throw them over this one. Loading is underway. I think that is us loaded. And let's just show you the load. I don't know 100% sure if it's me delivering it or not on Monday. I don't know. Has There has been occasions where I've loaded up from here and then someone else has done it. There's been occasions where I've loaded up from here and then I have done it. So I don't know, we'll just wait and see. But from now, and head back to the yard. Next time you see me, I don't know, it might be dark. I've got lots of stuff to do in the yard. I've got to wash the truck, I've got to fill up the Vabri, I've got to change the fuse, uh, do some paperwork, clean up inside, um, maybe drop a trailer. I don't know, I've got loads of stuff to do. So I'm going to crack on and I'll see you in a little while. Ah, all right, I'm in my truck. I've done. Sorry, I'm going to just turn this off a sec. Hang on, no, no, no. Hang on, bear with. Ah, so I'm just in my truck, I've done loads of stuff. Um, Fill it with our blue, wash the truck. Um, I've changed fuses in me, uh, my fuse box. My headlights weren't working. Basically, it's not gonna work the ignition in on. The headlights, the, the top headlights weren't working. The bottom ones were, which is road legal, but the top ones weren't working. So I've changed them. Then my beacon stopped working. So I've, changed, I've done the fuse on that. The beacons are working now as well. So that's good. I've just got to put some stickers in um in the warehouse for someone and then oh i've got a hitch back up to the trailer and then we can go home it is uh 10 to 7 at night hang on hang on i'm gonna leave the lights off i'll see you in a sec okay that is a wrap trailer dropped ad blue received truck washed trailer rehitched back up fuses fixed didn't get chance to fix the burner light uh, apparently it needs the wires need to be recut and then put back on again. Let me just show you the truck look, just about walk past it. There we go, that's much better, isn't it? Much cleaner. And there's the wood, the timber that we got loaded with earlier. Much cleaner, much nicer. It's not 100% clean, don't get me wrong, it needs another wash really and then um maybe even hand washed to uh get rid of some of the marks but much better than it was that's for sure so yeah thank you very much for watching i do appreciate it hopefully you've enjoyed it it's uh day's been all right it's not been too bad um obviously we delivered those pallets this morning met daz who's helping with my uh with my training trying to lose weight so again see how we go this time and um, yeah, over to North London, that was tight, very tight with those cars there. And then reload with timber. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. Till next time, drive safe, stay safe. I will see you soon, bye bye. Well, hi there, I'm Dazza, and this is Lucy, my 2003 Foden Alpha. This is a restoration project that I'm doing on YouTube. I really appreciate all the vloggers sharing this video around. This is a hobby for me, a restoration project that, um, that is in years of the making. It's something I've always wanted to do. And if you fancy watching a middle-aged man on YouTube make a complete prat of himself, then look no further. Please snip along to the channel, have a look at the videos, and feel free to subscribe, like the videos, and please make a comment as well. It all helps it on YouTube. I appreciate 
every single person that has subscribed so far. Over the next few months, we've got big plans for the truck and we will be seeing you next year at lots of truck shows. So be sure to subscribe. Thanks very much.